Hi, I'm Barry Alterman, the chaplain at the Academy of the New Church, and I'm coming today with another pastoral message. I've been talking lately about Noah's Ark and trying to ride out that storm and, and what goes on in our mind and all the animals and just trying to ride out the storms of life. And it's interesting that today in southeast Pennsylvania, it's a really kind of crazy day. The winds are howling outside. In fact, in our... Uh, in our backyard, our neighbor's tree, a big pine tree, is now at a 45 degree angle leaning against the electric wires that run between our houses. And so that's what it's like today. Um, hopefully the neighborhood over the not side doesn't lose their power. Um, but the storms idea is, uh, is something that's very often shown in the Lord's word. Um, there's a story about the Lord being out in a boat with the disciples and sometimes it has the Lord walking on water to the disciples. And in this one, he's in the boat and he's asleep at the back of the boat. And the idea is the disciples are heading across the lake, the Sea of Galilee, and they're trying to get to the other side. And as they go, the storms pick up. And this is from Mark chapter 4. I want to read a little bit. And it said, And a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat so that it was already filling. But Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him and they said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? And then he arose and he rebuked the wind. And he said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased and there was great calm. So in that story, Jesus is with the disciples. That's a key idea. He's with them. They're not, they haven't left without him, but he's asleep at the back of the boat. And the story is written more according to our perspective than the reality because there's this wonderful passage in uh, New Church Teachings, the book Secrets of Heaven, passage 1983, and it says, Love doesn't sleep. Love doesn't sleep. So the perspective, from, from our perspective, we kind of feel like the Lord sometimes isn't paying attention, doesn't care, isn't aware, doesn't really seem to be in charge of what's going on. But if we have the idea that love never sleeps when we go into this story, we really see that it's our perspective, that when we are going through our storms in life, when we are having the struggles and the doubts and the worries and the chaos that's all around us all the time, when we're going through those chaotic moments, it seems like the Lord isn't present. But in the story, the Lord is there. He's just seemingly asleep at the back of the boat. And in our lives, it seems like the Lord is asleep. But they go and they wake him up. That's a key idea. If we remember the Lord, think about it. Like, how can faith in the Lord and how can thinking about spirituality really help get me through the situation I'm going through? Then they wake up the Lord. And when he wakes up, he says to, it says he rebukes the wind and the waves. And he says, peace, be still. That's a very powerful image to me. Peace, be still. The idea of being still and being peaceful and calm is something that I've always strived for in my life. And I'm usually pretty good at keeping an even, calm demeanor about things. And this time of life we're going through right now, it's difficult for me and I know for a lot of people because we're just going up and down. And there's the emotions. Some days are we're feeling good and positive and everything's good. And other days we're, we're just going downhill again. So we're riding the waves. And uh, maybe some of you are used to that as how you go through life, but it's really just not my way. And I've been talking to a, a lot of people who are going through some struggles right now. And it, it feels like they're, they're on that journey. They're trying to get someplace. They're kind of, it takes a while because we don't really even know at this time how long we're stuck in the situations we're in. But we're riding out our boat and we're trying to get places and do the right thing. But when the storm comes up, how do we get through it? When we're starting to fight more, get irritated more, get a little crazy about what's going on, a little more stir crazy, how do we get through those times? And the idea is we need to be still. Peace. Be still. And that stillness and that still mind is an image that's used in a lot of different religions around the world. If you think about Buddhism in particular, it's talking about the still waters and, the, and a still mind that we're trying to reach, a calmness that we want so that we can actually move forward. And so I, I'm hoping that the story really, I think you can see yourself in it. We're trying to travel and, you know, sometimes chaos happens all around us and sometimes chaos happens in us as you're trying to stay positive and move forward and do the right things and, and hope that things will get in a better situation around us. And so we're going on the storm, through the, on a boat, through the storms. And we've got to remember the Lord. He might seem like he's asleep, but love never sleeps. The Lord's always there, always available, always present. 
And if we can remember to just look at how is the Lord going to help keep me calm here? What are some principles and some ideas that helps me move through the chaos and the crud that's going on around me? Um, how do I wake up the Lord? Because when that happens and you, and you get that focus again, it's peace be still. It's all calm again. So I'm hoping as you go through the chaotic phases of life that we're going through, your ups and your downs, that um, you try to stay calm, you try to stay focused, and if you forget and you start losing it, wake up the Lord. Come get in touch with the Lord again. Read, read His Word. Read some stories. Think about the Lord. Pray to the Lord. Focus on that. Try and get that back in your minds in the forefront and so that the peace can be still, so that the calm around you will come. So love never sleeps. If it seems like it, wake up the Lord.